The songsters have uh, just sang that uh, lovely song, We Saw Love, and we've just seen some lovely visuals that reminds us of that Easter story. And that really sets the scene uh, for our reflection upon the events of Easter as we uh, look at them tonight. And so, uh, keeping in that theme of love, we saw such love from God, uh, from Jesus, when he gave his life. Uh, Shall we join together and just sing that song? Such love, pure as the whitest snow. Such love weeps for the shame I know. Such love, paying the debt I owe. Oh, Jesus, such love. This is song number 199, if you like to use your songbook. Uh, we'll sing all the verses through, and then uh, after we've sung this lovely song, I will invite you to join me in a prayer. We'll pray together um, for our Easter story tonight. So if you'd like to stand, we'll sing the song, Such Love. has for each one of us. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, King of glory, you show the glory of your love through the shame and the suffering. You have promised that when you are, your servants also will be. Keep us near to you through the hearing of your word, that we may always be willing Uh, reading tonight is the story of the Last Supper. And uh, the words I'm going to bring to you are adapted from Matthew 26 and from John 13. The Last Supper occurred on Passover's first day, or the festival of the unleavened bread. Jesus sent his disciples to the city to prepare a meal to celebrate Passover. As the disciples reclined and ate dinner with Jesus, 
he explained that one of the twelve would soon betray him. One by one, the disciples denied that it would be them, including Judas, who would be the betrayer. Jesus prayed and thanked God for the meal. He then broke the bread, shared the wine with the disciples, and explained to them how the bread was a symbol of his body, broken for them, and the wine a symbol of his blood, which would be poured out for their sins to be forgiven. After the meal, Jesus became like a servant and washed the feet of the disciples. Peter did not feel right having Jesus wash his feet, but Jesus said that he was doing it to be an example to them. Now the disciples would be able to wash each other's feet, meaning they could be servants to all. And uh, I'd like us now to sing that song, The Servant King. It's number 165 in the uh, songbook, and um, we will sing all of the verses together. Thank you.
for you this evening, an arrangement, a uh, transcription even, of a uh, old favourite, made famous by the Glasgow Orpheus Choir, uh, conducted by the composer Sir Hugh S. Robertson. It's all in the April evening. betrays Jesus. When Jesus leaves Jesus and the disciples at the place of the Last Supper, he goes to the Roman authorities who are looking to arrest Jesus. He accepts a bribe of 30 silver pieces and agrees to take them to Jesus. Judas knew that Jesus and the disciples would go to the Garden of Gethsemane near Jerusalem and led the soldiers there, stating, Whoever it is, I kiss. He is the one. Take him into custody and leave him, lead him away under guard. Leading the group into the garden, Judas sees Jesus with his disciples and approaches him. Greetings, Rabbi, Judas says, and he kisses Jesus very lightly. Fellow, for what purpose are you present, Jesus asks and answering his own question, responds by saying, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Our next song, uh, Deep Were the Scarlet Stains of Sin, uh, reminds us really that uh, no matter how badly we've behaved toward Jesus, no matter how we've sinned, if we come to him, the blood of Jesus cleanses us. And this is a lovely song. I was just going to choose three verses, but it, I think we'll just sing them all because it's the really beautiful words. So, Deep with the scarlet stains of sin. <laughs>
Our third reading for this evening is adopted from St. Luke chapter 22, verses 47 to 51. It's entitled, Jesus is Arrested. As the soldiers moved toward Jesus, the apostles recognized what is happening. Lord, should we strike with the sword, they ask. Before Jesus can respond, Peter uses one of the two apostles' swords and attacks Malachus, a high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. Jesus caresses the ear of Malachus, healing the wound. He then teaches an important lesson, telling Peter, return your sword to its place, for all those who take up the sword will perish by the sword. Jesus is willing to be captured, for he explains, how else would the scriptures be fulfilled. May God add his blessing. And by now have a lovely arrangement of uh, the song Christ is All and it's been arranged uh, by Olaf Rittman and the start of this piece of music is quite uh, uh, sparse, it's just a few sort of instruments and they all join together and that's in reflection of the opening verse, I bring to thee my heart to fill, how I feel how weak I am, but still to thee for help I call um, and then as it moves on verse 2 is in a minor setting and that reflects the words around me in the world I see no joy that turns my soul from thee its honours fade and fall before the resolution um, into the chorus um, and then the final chorus which of course is my Christ is all in all so hope you enjoy uh, Christ is all
would you like to sing those words? That was lovely, wasn't it? Christ is all, yes, all in all. My Christ is all in all. Christ is all, yes, all. tonight is adapted from Matthew 27, Luke 23 and John 19, entitled Trial and Crucifixion. Roman soldiers arrested Jesus and he was put on trial for claiming to be the king of the Jews. According to Roman law, the punishment for rebellion against the king was death by crucifixion. The Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, was reluctant when it came to the punishment of Jesus. Pilate could find no wrong in Jesus, yet he wanted to give the people what they wanted, and that was the death of Jesus. Pilate washed his hands in front of the crowd to symbolize that he was not taking responsibility for the bloodshed of Jesus, and then handed Jesus over to be beaten and lashed. Jesus had a crown of thorns thrust on his head and made to carry his cross along the pathway to the hill where he would be crucified. The location of Jesus' crucifixion is known as Calvary, which is translated from a place of a skull. Crowds had gathered to mourn and watch Jesus' death. Jesus was nailed to the cross between two criminals and his sides were pierced by a sword. While Jesus was mocked, one of the criminals asked Jesus to remember him and Jesus responded, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus then looked to heaven and asked God to forgive them for they do not know what they do. When taking his last breath, Jesus spoke, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. It is finished. Amen.
gave his all so that we can have everlasting life. He died that we might be forgiven. He died to make us good, that we might go at last to heaven, saved by his precious blood. So, so we celebrate that gift of love uh, by singing our final song together, There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own son. Song number 204, and we'll rise to sing, please. <laughs>
thank you, our Father, for giving us your Son, who willingly entered that city, willingly took the weight of the world's sin upon his shoulders, that we could be restored to that right relationship with you. Father God, we can never even begin to comprehend the cost of the weight of the sins of the world on Jesus' shoulders. And yet he still cried, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they're doing. He still turned to the, the thief on the side of him and said, today you'll be in paradise with me. He still looked down at his mother and said, this is your son to his disciple, this is your mother. He loved the world and us so much that he gave and gave and gave until he said, it is finished. Father God, let us never, ever take Easter for granted. Let us constantly reflect on this Holy Week, on the sacrifice given by Jesus. And we pray for this world in which we live, that it may taste and see peace. For the fighting in the Ukraine, for the fighting in the Middle East, for the fighting in other places of this world, Lord, let this Easter time be a time of peace, of reconciliation, of truth, and of justice. Father God, thank you for sending us Jesus. Keep us safe, Father God, until we meet again. But also, give us the opportunities to share our faith with the people that we come into contact with, to say that Jesus loved me so much that he died for me. And you know what? He now lives within my heart because I know him as my personal saviour. Lord, keep us safe and bless us as we go to our respective homes. We pray this in your precious son's name. Amen.